Hello, people view here. Got a few Mr. Blue reviews. Today I'm viewing Power Rangers Operation Overdrive Once a Ranger. Or the episode Operation Overdrive is basically a, a treasure hunting series with the Rangers uh, looking for these jewels that together make an ultimate power. That's the bad guys and um, Motor and Flurry is after and some other aliens and the guys stop them. Some episodes are okay, others are bad, and characters are acting like idiots sometimes. It's actually Dax. He just smogs into the character, or, or molds into it in, on the screen so many times, he's just said some Stupid stuff! I'm just gonna punch him sometimes! I don't care if I still! Anyway, Once Ranger is the 15th anniversary episode for Power Rangers, so it's like something big! And this is just gonna be a mess. Anyway, the Ranger and Ryan stop this, uh, aiding for seeing the jewel. And, uh, they do, but then, the alien and, uh, the other Venom fractions get the invitation by this, uh, person or being known as, uh, Traps. So it turns out, uh, is the son of Rita and Lord Zed. And somehow he knew the central knight, the mystical being, that protects the jewel that the bad guys are after. Even though he was around, well, a hundred or five thousand years ago. Can I just say, Trax is just awful. He looks awful. He sounds awful. He's a bit wider. I don't know what they're taking the, the joint apartment. He looks like half human, half robot thing. And the overbite he has on the, on the, on the, on the mouth is just, gah! It's awful! And he just doesn't plan to take away, uh, the ranger's powers. And at first, uh, everybody is against it, but then when he says it's a temporary alliance, they're all for it. Uh, but the rangers, they're just, uh, taking in the glow of the Rangers. I was not even thinking about the best part of it is helping people. Even the sixth Ranger, uh, Tidon says the best part is saving the world. And he's supposed to be like a, a rescue personnel person. And an alien. Uh, anyway, Ranger got a call that some bad's happening and the Tidon, no, 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 tracks on the other villains are causing some havoc. And somehow, with the power of the villains and traps, they're able to disconnect the rangers' connection to the morphing grid. They take away their power ranger powers. But still, they can still have, uh, their civilian powers. I think it's also the first season where the mentor of the team, in this case, Mr. Hartman, messes with the rangers' DNA. I don't know what they're thinking and writing, but whatever. Oh yeah, and the team... It's not bad, it isn't good either, there's a rap. But even like a hip-hop rap is like a mythic force. Anyway, with the main power gone, the villains decide to look for the jewels again. And one of them looks for one in uh, stone hands, but the rangers go and get their asses kicked. And there's some veteran rangers come to help out. Including Adam, the Black Money Morphin Power Ranger. And don't even use my Morphin team. So they're able to take scenes from different episodes shown by the 500 episode in the uh, Dino Thunder. They will have the costumes. But 
They're gonna love you to music. Makes sense. And the other rangers are the yellow diamond kind of ranger, the blue ninja storm, the green uh, mythic sport ranger, and Trip as the red ranger. And he does explain how or why he became the red ranger in FED. Well, if you haven't watched FED, that would be confusing. Let's just say some people got promoted. Anyway, with there being new rangers, the override, override rangers decide to go back to their normal lives. So while they're doing their normal thing, they don't find it as fulfilling. And ties on the radio and just walk on the field. And they say the term was a ranger about four times in this two pair. I don't know why, but it just gets annoying. Ugh. Anyway, Adam has an idea of uh, how they can fix the uh, Morphin Grid. And that's to go to a warehouse in Angel Grove, where some of the uh, flourishes uh, put over uh, triggers or seizures or something, attack, and then they find a box with a lightning bolt on it, and there's out out of six is in it. Yeah, the out of the that. Uh, Turbo and in space, even though he wasn't in the Mac, the Astro Megaship Mac 2 back in Red. And Alpha's voice is just terrible as well. Why couldn't you say the original Alpha's voice or the dive talky voice? Ugh. I don't know what's the problem with these people. Anyway, Mac decides to try to find this that sword that 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 said that, that to kill the uh, the Sentinel Knight, and the name of it is just weird. I'm not even they didn't call it Excalibur. That's they call it Excelsior. Yeah, maybe they didn't think that people know that these catchphrases. Anyway, he tries getting the the sword, but uh, some bad guys are there, and he and he just leaves and bad guy not smash and there we go. All the rangers there as well, and they can get the sword out. I don't know if he said that he might be able to get sword if they're still rangers. He'll say these power rangers are so they just care about the power and no one else. The things are no one else. In any, every other series, there's moments where the rangers do something, even if they don't have their powers. That what it means to be a hero. Do something, even if you don't have a special ability name. That's one reason Batman is my favorite character. The only special ability he has is that he has, uh, if he just says super smart, and then he never gives up. It makes sense. Anyway, eventually they do. Get the sword out, and Max would use it to chop this or slice this and one monster in half. It's supposed to be badass, I think, but just being over the top. Like, you said, God level in a video game. It's, it's so stupid! And then, thanks to Alpha to get their power, you know, your power, your power back. And then, a big fight with. All the rangers and all the villains. Okay, it didn't read really, like the attack, the spectacular or anything. So this is a boring aim that they came for the other rangers, except for the Mighty Morphin again. It didn't play or played, and then the kind of light comes because apparently when he absorbed. The sword, the Scalibur sword, he was fully healed. I don't know. And he destroyed the, uh, tracks, or that, whatever. Like he was a fully punk. And then everybody's saying goodbye, and the veteran rangers say they probably 
stuff by once in a while or something. Oh yeah, I was going to play Adam Says More for Normal. And seen after that in the show, in any of the burden, raising burdens is in. This is the second time that a character saying a line they never said. As in, in the two anniversary episodes. What the hell? And then they just put their hands in saying, Go, go, Power Rangers. I have no idea why. This will be the song to how not to do an anniversary episode. A lot of bad things, a lot and some of the references to make an anniversary episode that are only in the second part. It's just awful. God damn awful. Not as bad as the twentieth season uh it's either Mega Force or Super Mega Force, but they didn't show any like anniversary things. I think I think it's Mega Force was in the second season that they did show some anniversary so some Ranger did cameo, but just nothing. Nah. It's this is a bad I get into two of okay. them. And uh, the last of the Ranger came up. There were two uh, Red Rangers meet, or Red Ranger from another universe gets into the universe with the Samurai Rangers, and so what happens? Uh, yeah, I don't think I explain it any better. Anyway, uh, good time. I'm a three reviews. I'll see you later.